Hello and welcome to episode 8 of The Naked Analyst. Today I'd like to talk about uh, my favourite websites when looking at big data. And here are my top six sites. They range from the easily digestible to the totally immersible and possibly overwhelming. So be warned as we get further into the list. Number one is uh, Dataversity. It includes daily updates of the latest big data news, articles and education. It's not too overwhelming with only one or two items each day, so it's a good place to start. Similar is Planet Big Data. It's an aggregator of blogs about big data, Hadoop and related topics. And in terms of volume of news, it's a step up from Dataversity with up to half a dozen items daily. Number three in our list is the Smart Data Collective. It's a commercially run and moderated business community of business intelligence, predictive analytics and data professionals who all blog onto that site. So it gives you a good uh, smattering of, of insight into big data, amongst other things. Number four on the list is Big Data Startups. This is a European site that is making an effort to track the market buzz around big data, especially emerging companies. And as far as I can see, there are hundreds of companies that are profiled. So it can be a bit overwhelming for those new to big data. But if you want to see who the up and coming uh, companies are, this is a good place to start. Number five on the list is Data Science Central. It's a good online resource for big data practitioners and quality is maintained by content being actively moderated. And this saves it from being overwhelmed by marketing crap, which is always a good thing. Number six on the list and our final entrant is R Bloggers. It's more of for practitioner analysts and may be overwhelming for those new to big data. But it is a fantastic resource for anyone using the R language to do real stuff. And besides, a list of big data sites just has to include one covering the R community because it's such an important open source movement. Don't let anyone tell you that R is just a fringe technology. A huge list of organizations use it, from the biggest multinationals to the smallest startups. So check it out. And finally, if you are using a particular tool or solution, then find a good source of information for that and get into the habit of checking those sites regularly. Well, that's my list, so I hope you found it useful, and until next time, goodbye.